Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come back with another crochet video on how I made this jellyfish plushie. Someone has asked me if I can make this into a bigger version of it, so I am working on that. I also made a pattern for this. This is actually my first pattern and will be selling it on my Etsy if you're interested. The link is in my bio. Without further ado, let's get started. So the materials I'll be using is Yarn B Cozy Occasion Yarn in a 6 weight in the color white, Big Twist Yarn in a 4 weight in the color light pink, a 8mm hook, a 5mm hook, a needle, and stuffing. For row 1, make a magic circle and do 8 single crochets into the circle. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. In round two, in every stitch, you're going to place two single crochets. You should have a total of 16 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round three, in the next stitch, you're going to place one single crochet, then the next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern. You should have a total of 24 stitches.
Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round four, in the next three stitches, you're going to place one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Repeat this pattern. You should have a total of 30 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round five through seven, 30 single crochets. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one, then fasten off. Next, you're going to grab your four weight yarn, and since I couldn't find a six weight yarn that was shimmery, I just doubled it. So I put out enough yarn cut it, connect both ends, and continue. For round one, make a magic circle and do six single crochets into the circle. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round two, in every stitch, you're going to place two single crochets. You should have a total of 12 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round three, in every stitch you're going to place one single crochet, then in the next two single crochets in the same stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern. You should have a total of 18 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round four, in the next two stitches, you're going to place one single crochet. Then the next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Repeat this pattern. You should have a total of 24 stitches.
Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. For round five, in the next three stitches, you're going to place one single crochet. Then the next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Repeat this pattern. You should have a total of 30 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch, then chain one. Next, we're going to join together. So I'm going to slip stitch, chain one, then single crochet all around. Make sure to leave a gap because we're going to um, stuff it. Once you're done stuffing, close up that gap. As you can tell, my pink is getting a little short, so what I do is pull out more string, cut it, and connect them together. Once we've done that, chain two and we're going to do three double crochets into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Do four double crochets into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat. Slip stitch and fasten off. Once we completed the top of the jellyfish, now we're going to move on to the bottom of the jellyfish. So make a slip knot 
chain 45. Skip one chain, single crochet into all the stitches, then fasten off. Using pink again, answer it into the second stitch. Chain one, single crochet into all the stitches. Leave tail long and fasten off. You're going to make two more of these. Once you've made three of them, time to assemble. So when I assemble them, I try to make it into a triangle shape in the middle of the jellyfish. Once you're done with that, lastly you're going to grab another yarn, then slip knot. Slip stitch, then chain to the size of the other ones. When making these, I like to go in a cross. So I did one on the top, next I do the one on the bottom, etc. You can make as many as you want. I did eight. And your jellyfish is complete. If you want to add pearls, what I did was just um, grab some pearls and a hot glue gun and glue them on there. If not, then you're done. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try my hardest to comment and reply to any of the questions that you have um like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye